Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this beautiful full moon in Virgo. I mean, we are reaching really the end of the cycle, the, the end of this whole year that has passed through us. And it's a time of reflection. It's a time to really consciously analyze whatever happened this year, whatever lessons we learned, whatever challenges we faced in order to embody um, this new cycle that is coming more um, fully, more authentically, more present within ourselves. It's a time of forgiving, it's a time of healing. Pisces and Virgo, it's all about healing, it's all about spiritual growth, it's all about transcending our egos, our most uh, earthly uh, desires. There's nothing wrong about them, it's just they need, they feel the need very young, at a very young age. Um, this energy needs to be at service. This energy needs to be connected to something higher than themselves. They need to be effective and productive in something that they feel that is working through uh, perfecting something. Usually, Pisces is about uh, doing so in a very emotional, connected way, as a water sign. As Virgo, it's a more productive, effective, analytical, uh, detail-oriented way. But both of them share, uh, and that's why they are polar opposite signs, they share this need to be at service. They share this need to give themselves to the world. Virgo has to learn to surrender. Virgo needs to learn uh, how to have faith in something you cannot rationally explain. Virgo needs to believe. As Pisces, needs to realize his boundaries. Pisces needs to learn who he is truly, to let go of that mask, to let go of that escape, escapism tendency, to lose himself in others and in substances and in ideologies and religions and spiritual cults. For me, they are really about the, it's the, the, the polarity that closes and synthesizes all the 12 uh, conscious states of the zodiac. So for me, they end, they are about ending and synthesizing and taking uh, the lessons of whatever happened before them internalizing that process, forgiving whatever happened, taking whatever they need of them, and letting it go, merging, merging with their emotions, merging with their hearts, merging with their connection to the divine. And you can um, take the word divine, what, uh, in which way you want. It's about that connection we have with something beyond ourselves, with something that we cannot again logically explain. So the full moons are a very charged emotional period, a very emotional period. And uh, in Virgo, uh, it's like we are trying to deal with this emotional tension, emotional combination, emotional awareness that is coming in a more analytical and distant way, in a more efficient way. So we are really being given the opportunity 
to uh, learn a lot, learn a lot about our experiences in the past. We are giving, we are being given the opportunity to have a lot of insight, a lot of discernment about what happened. Because when we merge the, the Virgo polarity with the Pisces polarity, we are, are giving ourselves the chance to grow spiritually. And when we grow and when we connect with our spirit, we heal. We heal something in ourselves. And if we are healing something in ourselves, we are healing the world. And we are doing something for the betterment of that world. To be at service to one another. It's about being humble enough to accept, to forgive, to let it go. So this full moon really connect with your past experiences. This is the end of the cycle. Really connect about whatever happened this year, the good, the bad, the ugly. Take it in again, one more time, and analyze it. Put your Virgo sharp uh, analytical eye to its best use. Take whatever you need from it, and the rest, take it out. Take it out with compassion. Take it out with awareness, with consciousness, with love and respect. So I decided to draw a card for uh, this full moon period. The deck I, I usually use is uh, the Osho, the Zentaro. I don't know if you know it. But I really love it because it's so uh, unconventional in the sense that um, it focuses a, a lot more about the present moment, about our knowledge, about questioning that knowledge we have, than really focusing on uh, divination or future um, events. So. The card that comes up, it's really interesting and really synchronic and really magical like this period is. And it's uh, Inner Voice. You can see the card? And just by looking at the card, you can realize, internalize, and have a lot of insight. I don't need to say that much. You see the, the, the female? You see the moon? And the name of the card is Inner Voice. Moons are really connected with our feminine, intuitive, nurturing side. And we all have them. We all, men, women, there's no this separation in that. We all have this feminine power inside of us, and this power is about intuition. It's about having knowledge that we cannot explain where it's coming from, because it's coming from our source, that divine that I was talking about. It's coming from something higher than our uh, three-dimensional senses. So this full moon, use your inner voice, use your ability to see things through, merge your mind with your heart, and you'll have this intuition that's really going to rise, it can come up in a dream, it can come up in synchronic events in your daily life. It can come up in a lot of ways, but surely it will not come in a way that you are expecting, in a way that you can tangible touch and see. 
So stay grounded, stay tuned, and really analyze what you need to. Don't fall into excessive criticism. Don't be harsh on yourself. Just let it go, forgive. And focus on your intentions to the new cycle that is coming this year, which will be really interesting. Which I will talk with you later about. So, thank you for listening. Have this really, really, really beautiful full moon inspiration. I'll see you next time.